Hi, well, the temperature here has warmed up, so we're not so cold anymore. So this is going to be a lot easier, and I don't think the camera will shake quite as much as the last time. What I wanted to do is I thought I'd show you a couple of exercises, but I was asked a question the other day, and it was quite interesting. Somebody asked me, what irritates me the most? And you know, of all the wonderful comments that I get, and even negative comments, I don't really worry too much about. But what really irritates me is when somebody comes on and says, you have to train this way. And you know, that's just such a blanket sort of statement. It's a statement that actually is totally wrong. You know, each of us has to develop the way we need to train in order to get the best possible results. And all the different exercises work, otherwise they wouldn't be there. And so some will work better for some people and others will work better for other people. So ideally, you need to select the best exercise for you to get the best possible results. And I thought what I would do tonight is actually show you another one of those break the barrier exercises. And it's for biceps. I've got a lot of people asking me about biceps saying, you know, how do you get your biceps to grow? And biceps grow by doing solid, good exercises. And for me personally, I love to stick to just a straightforward, basic bicep curl. If you just do normal bicep curls, it always works the bicep. And there are many different exercises that you can end up doing. Uh, preacher curls, all different exercises. But the one I'm going to show you now to break the barrier. So this is one that I use now and again when I feel... My biceps aren't doing what I want them to do. And it's called 21s. And it's a really fantastic exercise. Now again, I like to use an EZ bar. You can use a straight bar. For me, it just doesn't put as much stress on my elbows as a straight bar does. Because I find with a straight bar, my arms are really bent like it. And I tend to want to get tennis elbow quite easily. So by just having that slight bend, I don't get that problem. And that's why I often work with dumbbells. And so I'm going to show you with an EZ bar. And basically the exercise is 21s. So it's 7, 7 and 7. Okay. So it's 3 lots of 7. So the first one is 7 halfway up. Okay. So it's just to there. And don't rush it. Don't try and do it quickly. Just nice and slowly. Focus on what you're doing. Get your mind right. The mind place goes a long way to helping you produce great results. So it's seven exercises there. Then you do seven this way. So it's seven bottom half, seven top half. Okay. Once you've done seven exercises, then it's a full seven reps full. Okay. So let's just look at it again. It's seven halfway. Okay. There, seven. Then we do seven from the top down halfway. Okay. And then we do seven full reps. And again, avoid this motion. If you find that on the last seven, where you're doing the full rep, that the last two or three, you've got to actually cheat a little bit. Remember, once you've got it to the top, bring it down really slowly. So the negative really works. Okay. Up. Bring it down. So if you're having to do that, up, bring it down slowly. Okay. So that it works really hard. I hope that's going to help you. It certainly helped me a lot. It helps you to break the barrier. I hope you've enjoyed the exercise. Look forward to seeing you at the next one. Thank you so much for all your comments. Keep them coming. I really do appreciate them. And thank you for getting so many people to subscribe. See you next time.